just kind of where the sun is in that general area. Put the intensity up more. Put this to maybe one one thousand two hundred. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And uh, this evenly lights everything, so you won't have too many shadows in the game area. But if you do want shadows in the game area, just under type, try directional. And directional is actually really cool. Now we can um, rotate this to get the direction we want. First of all, let's lower the heck out of this intensity. Maybe to 1.05. And um, let's rotate it by either pressing here or pressing E. I'm just going to rotate it on the x-axis until I get this nice um, shape that I or shadowing that I want. So that looks nice. It almost looks like the sun setting. Uh, maybe right there. That's pretty nice. And now under flare, this is a cool effect. I'm just going to do. 50 millimeter zoom. So again, flare, you click on this little circle to the right and just double click on 50 millimeter zoom. And now, if we play, we could use our mouse to look around. Our sun coming in from a weird direction. But um, you can see that's pretty much the entire level. And our skybox is too big, you could tell because it's doing that. So let's hit the play button to stop playing, scale our skybox, first we select it, and then we scale it using the um, pressing R on our keyboard, and then just using this to scale it down. And I'm going to not do that, I'm going to just use the middle box and see, like that. Now I'm going to see if I could scale my tech, my train. So I'm going to go to scale. And the box is over there somewhere. Ugh. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's right here. Wow. No. Uh, I don't know. If anyone knows how you can um, do this to the train, by the uh, scaling to the train, that would be awesome and very helpful to me personally so if you know just uh, comment please and um yeah so i'm just gonna make our skybox kind of smaller so drag it over here see how wide it is it doesn't need to be too big because it's not really that big. And now we play. There we go. So now it's not doing it. So there's pretty much how you make the level. And we're going pretty slow though, so I'll show you real quick how we can go faster. So select your first person controller from the hierarchy. That would be the easiest. You just click on it, select it. And under the character motor script, Go to movement and change the max forward speed to maybe double the sideways step to uh, maybe 10, I guess, and the backward speed to 8 or 9 because I can't go that fast backwards. But I mean, if you can go full sprint backwards, then be my guest. And now we're going a little bit faster. Now you can see our terrain, pretty, pretty cool. So now, let's say we want to make it so that we don't go out of the area. So we don't want to go up on the mountains either. So add a game object, create other, and choose a plane. And now it's over here somewhere. So press W, drag it over, drag it up. Um, let's zoom in so we can actually see it. Let's scale it pretty big. Um, so press E. Oops, R I mean. And let's scale it on the Y. Pretty dang big. And scale it on the X. Pretty dang big as well. Now you're probably like, wow, that thing is huge. And it's pretty massive. 
if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's press W to move it. Let's rotate it. Rotate. Oopsie. Rotate is E. And let's rotate it so it's facing inwards. And now press W. We can move it. There we go. Move it to, like, right there. And we're right here where it says render mesh render. -er. Just click that because we don't want to render it. And now I'm almost positive. Let me just drag this more forward near my character so I know whether or not I'm walking through it. And I'm just going to test it so I turn my mesh render on so I can actually see where I'm going. I'm going to play the game. And now there's this giant wall in front of me. Nope, can't go through it. So that should be the same if I make it invisible. So I'm just going to drag it back. Click on mesh render. And there we go. And now shift, no, control D. We'll duplicate it. Ugh. Control D duplicates it. Bring it over here. And uh, kind of move around so I could see better. Sorry. Um, okay, so keep dragging it. Uh, I can't tell where it is, so I'll do that. Rotate it using the E. 180 pretty much. And there we go. So now that's pretty pretty cool. So let's move it like that. So we have our two two walls that are helping us out. I'm gonna press Control D again. I'll bring it over here, rotate it using E. Rotate. Oh, come on, rotate. There we go. Close enough. And now I'm just gonna move in. It looks a lot like our skybox. So let me turn this one on so I can see. And I'm just gonna scale this using double, oops, I mean R, scale it. So it blocks out any way that anyone could get out. Cause you don't want anyone to be able to get out of this. So I'll just drag that like that. Maybe a little up like that. There we go. Wonderful. And now, see that? That's a spot that someone could get out. Let's rotate it. Let's see if it fixes right there would be nice. Perfect. And now let's just finally control D this one. W, bring it over. A little bit more, like right there. Rotate it using E. Eh, come on, you could do it. Dang it. It was so close. Rotate it some more. Make sure it's closed off. Okay, so now we can select it. Take off the mesh renderer. Mesh render. Mesh render. Rah, rah, rah. And finally take off this mesh render. And these are our boundaries, so I'll just name them boundaries. And I'll just drag them into each other so that it kind of makes it neater, but this is parenting, so if you don't want to do that, that's cool. That's what just, the what the? Okay, I have no idea what just happened. It, oh. What the? Okay, so I guess I won't do that. I did it before and it was working nice, but um, I'll just keep it like this. Okay, so that's how you make a simple terrain using all this fun stuff that you learned. And now you can play around. If you walk over there, you'll get stopped. So, I mean, if you're having any problems, you can comment. But um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope I helped somehow. I'm not sure. 
if I was, would be helpful because I pretty much suck at explaining a lot of things. So I hope I was helpful. Anyways, have fun with your Unity, and um, hopefully you continue to watch my videos. If you like this, I could post some more tutorials on stuff like Blender and whatnot. So just comment if you need any help. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like. Bye.